Ah, it's working. Okay. I think there's sound for you guys, but not for me. So I need to go into sound settings real quick. And fix that for me. For me, myself, and I. I need to go to more sound settings. Recording. Capture. HDMI. Listen. There we go. Now I have sound too. Awesome. Welcome, my friends. Your presence means I can count elders Beautiful. dead. Why am I full? Oh, because I was looking at things. I Anyways. Am more dark start. Let's go. Let's try some Dark Alliance too, shall we? I'm excited. I think it's going to be fun. Are there any options or anything we need to care about? Probably not. Subtitles on. Damage text on. Auto map. Is full going to like... I think full will cover the screen a little bit. That is how I tend to play, like, whatchamacallit, though, Diablo-type games. So, like, I'm going to turn it on, but we should be able to change it if we want or need to. Oh, we got to pick our class, or just our character in general. Noodle, thank you for the five bits. Appreciate you. Got human Barb, Dark Elf Monk, Moon Elf Necromancer, Dwarven Rogue, and Human Cleric. I kind of want to try a Moon Elf Necromancer. I have no idea what like version of D&D this is based off of. Or if it even really does like follow the D&D stuff rule set. No subs, okay. To tame the monster filled reaches of the western heartlands. I see how it is. It is for this reason that the realm welcomes ambitious adventurers. And Baldur's Gate, its greatest city, calls to them like a siren luring mariners to their doom. Why do they heed the city's song, these brave and wandering souls? Some for the greater good, others for wealth, for power, for glory. Some do not know why themselves. This is such an adventurer's tale. Rumors abound of a dark alliance gathering against Baldur's Gate, of the hateful spirit of Eldrith the Betrayer, of a black tower of onyx in which she seethes and plots. Adventurers mm -hmm. flock to the western heartlands to forge their destinies in the fire of battle. Even now, some make their way down the tradeway, moving southwards towards Baldur's Gate. Fortune favors the bold adventurer. The bold. Balder. We in Balder's Gate. Restock on potions while in town. Many an adventurer has met their demise because they ran out of health. Rejuvenation or recall potions while deep inside of dungeon. Words are hard. Um. Okay, our camera controls are just zoom in, zoom out. That's it. That's all we got. That's fair, I guess. We can zoom in that much. We can zoom out that much. We can turn the camera. And yeah, it is taking up the whole screen. Now, most games like this, though, if you press a button... Okay. Triangles jump. X is, seems to be basic attack. Square doesn't seem to do anything. Right stick must, like, recenter the camera. Yeah, right click. Left click, nothing. Okay, that's like hotkeys. Nothing, nothing. Weapon or shield equipped to block. The, okay, left. That's how we change map. That's what I was trying to find. Change our skill. Six energy per second. Drains two to five. I'm assuming health per second. Energy costs four. 10% absorb plus six armor class. I don't know what that means. <laughs> But that's what up and down does. Okay, whatever. Um, You, you have a thingy on you. That's a save. Well, hopefully we don't need that already. Talk to Wounded Caravan Guard. I thought that would be my last fight. I'm Ka'ira, a caravan guard. Are you wounded badly? Not terribly, no. But I'm grateful for your concern. We were ambushed by the Red Fang Marauders. They took some of us away. Who? Please, just 
lend an ear. Some of the marauders took prisoners into the Trollbark Forest, southwest of here. But most of them continued southeast to Wayfork Village. They're going to raid it, or burn it. You must help, please. Okay, sure. Like, I'm happy to help, but who the hell are these people? Monsters. Brigands. Mostly goblin kind. Damned goblins. They've been raiding around Baldur's Gate for months. The city's soldiers can't find where the lot of them hole up. So, will you help? I literally don't have a choice. Then continue down the road until you see a path leading into the trees. It eventually leads into the Trollbark Forest. I'll meet you later in Wayfork Village. Farewell. I mean, besides just, like, turning off the game, I guess. <laughs> like, we could do that. That's a choice. Is there anything, like, secrets? This looks like a path we should be able to go down. Can we, like, cut down the tree? No. Lame. So we can't really go off path or anything. Is there anything back this way, though, before we go the way the game wants us to go? Turn around. Butter's Gate and your destiny lies down the road the other way. Okay. Fine, game. Railroading much? I don't know why... Like... Uh, that's such a gross way for the camera to sit. <laughs> I mean, it has, like, auto-turn. I guess that's why. Can we... Ah! Rude. Oh, my God. We're gonna die. <laughs> okay. I mean, we murdered them. 10% absorb plus 6 armor class. How long does this last for? We really need, like, a better weapon or something. We're dead. <laughs> uh, load game? No save data present. Cool. We restarting, boys. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Maybe we should have saved. I didn't expect us to die so early. Uh, we're just going to do the same class. Same class. Hopefully we can skip cutscenes. And I guess we'll save once we get in there in case the same thing happens again and we just die instantly. Character that's hidden via stealth inflicts additional damage when attacking an enemy out of hiding. The higher your stealth ranks, the more damage you'll do. Let's go. That's how games work. <laughs> so there's nothing... Oh my god, okay. Oh, okay. That was a little... Ick. Uh, glad we can't just attack random AP NPCs. And then it was what? Left? Left. Okay. Save! We'll save the game just for you. Create new save game. Saving data. Many thank game. That was a cool little effect, though. Alright, so we should probably put up our shield... And then, how quickly does our energy refill? Does it refill fast? Like, because we are much better off using our magic. Yeah, our energy refills fairly quickly. But we're much better with that than we are our weapon, that's for sure. Are there, like, characters that can chop down trees? Because... It's just annoying there's like all these paths that we can't do anything about. Dagger does one to four. Our <laughs> clothes do literally nothing. Strength is ten. We have nothing under ten. That's nice. Dex of twelve. Intelligence seventeen. That makes sense. It's weird that they're doing an energy system and not like a, you know, the D&D &D system. But, I mean, I guess it, they had to, like, gamify it a little bit. Empiric Touch. That's cool. Can we not see, like, our current abilities, though, anywhere? Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. The dots just aren't that much more, like, red than the, the empty dots. Drain hit points from enemies to restore your own. Affects one additional enemy per rank. That's cool. And then shield. Magic shield that improves armor. Okay. So, we actually want to, like use our dagger and then drain probably uh we should probably put our shield back up though first and then 
Let's go. Is that a health potion? I'm not attacking the right direction. How do you block? I saw them block. Also, how do we use items? Do we need to, like, assign them or something? R1 info. Equip. You can use potions quickly when not in the inventory by pressing R2 for healing and L2 for rejuvenation. Ah. Uh, R2 for healing, L2 for rejuvenation. Okay. R1 is block. Now, did equip... Did that just use the potion, though? I hope not, but it might have. But, I mean, I don't see it, like, here anywhere. Maybe it did. Is our health healing over time, too? Our health is healing over time. Unless, no, we don't have Empiric Touch. So the things we can do are lit up. Decrease the cost of creating and breaking down magic items. That could be cool. Ghoul Touch, Great Fort. I mean, we're a Necromancer. Can we raise the dead by any chance? Vampiric Touch. Willpower. Additional magic energy would be nice. Quick burst of running speed. I don't feel like that's really necessary. Reduces enemy damage output. Increase magic regen. Increase speed for you and any allies. Hit point regen. Paralyze. Magical flaming arrows. Having like a ranged attack might be nice. Oh wait, animate dead. It's right there. Higher ranks give stronger pets. Yeah. Anime dead. Fight for me, my pretties. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now how long... Does it last? Is it just until they die? Or like... It doesn't seem to, like, cost anything over time. Oh, did it cast shield on him, too, whenever I use shield? That's pretty cool. Noise. I'm glad I got that spell specifically, though. Because I feel like it would have been kind of a pain in the ass with how many dudes there are showing up around here. Can we, like, jump down? No. Oh, it looks like it goes down over here, though. I have no idea if we're going the right direction at all. I don't know why, but it feels like square should be the usability button. So I keep hitting square to try and do stuff, but square doesn't seem to do anything. I'm assuming I get the same amount of experience if it's me or my skeleton that does stuff. Padded boots! So I don't mind letting him, like, kill stuff. In fact, I'd kind of prefer if he was the one to kill stuff. I think even though it says equip, I think that just means use, technically. Padded boots, one armor. Fire higher armor proficiency. How do we get more armor proficiency? Right here. Oh, but it costs two. I have to equip leather and pet. I didn't mean to drop it. Pick it back up. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, leather gloves. But it's leather, so we can't wear that either, right? Yeah, we can only wear cloth right now, it seems. Cannot upgrade? It says R1 for info. <laughs> I'm not trying to upgrade. I'm just trying to get info. Okay. Fine, game. I don't want your damn info anyways. It's rude. I just wanted to know more about it. Feels like a really big hill. Did our skeleton just teleport to us? Chesty boy. Five gold and a better dagger. Surely we can at least equip the better dagger, right? 
Oh, never mind. It's not a better dagger. Can we dual wield? So the book is just there for shits and giggles, I'm assuming, right? Like, it's not actually a thing. I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's just there for, like, show. Because it doesn't show up as equipment whenever we have it unequipped or anything. So I don't think it actually grants us any type of bonus. <laughs> That's a weird attacking animation, how we attack with, like, both at the same time. This is a weird map with all the little... All of the little, like, cracks behind the hills. But, of course, they're all blocked by freaking trees. Why do that? It's such a weird look to the map. Maybe so, like, they can hide stuff, but, like... Hide it, hide it from you? Like, to discourage you from going down every little nook and cranny? By having some of them, or a lot of them, just be nothing? Is that their goal? I really don't know. <laughs> My skeleton just teleported behind the dude. Get fucked. That was a padded helmet, so we can't wear that either. <laughs> I love all this armor we're picking up that we just can't freaking use. But I mean, I guess that's just because of the class we picked, right? If we pick like a warrior or something, it probably wouldn't be that way. Is there a button to, like, show us all of the items on the ground? Another save point. We should probably save again. That seems like a pretty decent idea. Why not? Uh, the tradeway? I don't feel like we fucked anything up so bad that we shouldn't save over our old save right now. I don't think. I do like that effect whenever you save, though. The, like, spreads out all over the place sort of thing is cool. Thank you for murdering them, Mr. Skeleton. I was looking at OBS, not at the screen. Can we swim? His small pool of water. No swimming. Ooh, there's another little, another little hole in the wall over here. I'm guessing that's going to be another chest. Oh, we already looted it. Oh, no. We didn't loot it. It was just already open. Fair enough, I guess. I wish we could, like, move the camera down a little bit. It'd be much easier to see around these trees and things if they weren't taking up so much of the camera. If we could, like, look under them, you know? I like how the wheel's, like, spinning back and forth. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a small thing, but I like it. It's cute. It's cool. How many undead can we have raised at a time? Do we only get one? Yes, we only get one. Okay. That's fine. That's fair. I mean, that's kind of how I assumed it would work anyways. I just didn't know. Like, if we could get another one, it would have been cool to have two or three. That might be if we level up the skill more. Instead of like them getting stronger, we might just be able to summon two or three or something. I could see it working that way. How did you get up there? This dude's hacking. That's not a valid place. Same with there. Look at this dude go. Freaking skeletons, man. They're cheats, I'm telling you. Is he gonna... Okay. <laughs> like, I really hope he teleports back and bounds over here. It's gonna be much harder to beat this game or even play this game without him. I have no idea what I just picked up. Oh, a shoddy ring? I want info! <laughs> I'm not... I'm not trying to upgrade. I don't give a shit about upgrading it. I don't even know what it does now. I guess we'll equip it, though, and hope it's not bad. No, mm, I guess it just says higher ranks give stronger pets. Hmm. Maybe there isn't a way to summon, like, more than one dude at a time. 
I can't see that dude, so my skeleton can just take care of him. That's fine. Just steal the gold he drops. Enter Trollbark Forest. We, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say we should, like, check. There's the little spot over there that I'm not sure we went to, like, went in, but... Cleric's Cure Wounds spell takes a moment to cast, so it is best used before or after a battle, not during. Drink healing potions for quick HP recovery in the middle of a fight. Truer words have never been said. <laughs> is raining? Bro, this really is a Baldur's Gate game, isn't it? Fucking dark and dreary and just meh. Wait, what just happened? Did they just, like, steal someone's body or something? What the hell was that? These dudes over here just snatching people up in the middle of the night, man. That's not cool. Game has been saved. Thanks. Uh, sorry, don't mind me trying to take a drink because I'm thirsty. Ah, refreshing. Continue. Um, friend? Help! Friend! <laughs> My friend's not here. I need friend, please. Oh my god, these birds are much stronger than the goblins we were fighting. I need anime dead. Get over here. Fight. Drain your guys' freaking life. There you go. Get wrecked. That's much better. Birds don't carry gold. Kind of rude to them, honestly. For a PS2 game? I kind of like the lighting effects, man. I'm not going to lie. Ow! Does the... Oh my god, we're going to die. I'm going to die. Holy fuck! I don't remember how to... Is Okay. R2. R2 is heal. Holy shit. I don't think I can drain health from that far away. I can do it from this far away, though. Is my Skelebro dead? Or is he still fighting somebody? Oh, he's still fighting somebody. So is it just because, like, is this muddy water or something? Search weapon rack. Shoddy longsword. I don't feel like, as a necromancer... A long sword is the right choice for me. Do we have weapon proficiencies or anything? There's armor. Contagion. Curse your enemies with the plague. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of fucking rude. That's not even like an instant death thing. That's not even going to do damage right now. That's going to kill them like six months from now, man. That's going to spread to their families, to their village. That's honestly kind of fucked to do to somebody to give them the fucking plague because they pissed you off bruh control humanoids and lesser creatures fuck them why not flame arrow honestly sounds like a good next choice is is it just me or is like the font really weird in this game like hand weapon focus right here man like hand looks nice clear sharp crisp and then, like, the W on weapon's fine, and then slowly it just gets more blurry as it goes along. <laughs> it's so weird. Anyways, okay. Um, long weapon. Melf's Acid Arrow. So, no. Okay, so just whether you want to be ranged or not. Oh, that's one-handed. And this is... Stav, Spears, and Halberds. Oh. Okay. Is there nothing for, like, two-handed? I mean, not that I plan on using two-handed weapon as a... As a spellcaster, but... Is this a one-handed... Longsword would be two-handed, right? No, it is one-handed. I mean, it does the same as the dagger, though, so I feel like dual daggers is the better way to go. They're lighter. I don't know if it actually matters in-game, but in my head, it's, like, lighter, easier to swing. It means faster swing, means more DPS. 
but I don't know if the game actually does that. Oh, we could have just walked around the freaking thing, man. Instead of walking through the mud pit and getting shot six million times. That would have been smart. Can we steal your food? Oh, you're still alive. Sorry. Don't mind me. I was... My oh, I was actually taking damage from the fire pit. Okay. Cool to know. And level ups do heal us. Another good thing to know. So do we get like two points this time? We do get two points this time. That's a lot more stuff we can do. Allows you to change potions from one type to another. That could come in handy. Armor proficiency would also be nice. Clarity would be nice. Hmm. I don't know what the item stuff's like, so I don't know. Or the workshop. I don't know what the workshop's like, so I have no idea if that's actually worth it. Channel death energy at nearby enemies in your front arc. Affects one additional enemy per rank. Three to nine damage per half second while button is held. It's kind of cool. So haste isn't a skill. It just straight up... 6% increase for 8 seconds. Maybe it is a skill, actually. Enfeeblement. More shield. Slow sprint. Vampiric touch. Willpower. So I think we're going to take... Should we take a range thing? I mean, since we can summon somebody, I'm tempted just to get a higher rank undead creature. To be honest. But I feel like either Flame Arrow or Melf's Acid Arrow. Never mind, that costs four. Let's get a flame arrow then, because we can have him like... Oh, that only costs one. Can we save points? I wonder if we can save points in between things. Mm. We already have a way to steal health from people. Let's get willpower, additional magic energy. But my idea is, is he can stand back, right? And then we can just shoot people with arrows while he does the fighting for us. I mean, it seems to be working. Does it automatically lock on by any chance? To like enemies that are close by it would be very helpful but shoddy longsword again useless to us man it does not we have to actually aim the arrow that's gonna be bad for us is there uh, is there really no like there's no lock on button sadly That's life drain. So it's down two for shield. Okay. And that's fine. We can we can handle it, I think. Stop blocking my arrows, you dick. Did you just kill my skeleton? That's rude. He was a dear friend of mine. I don't... Again, I don't know what we actually picked up. Scale gloves, maybe? I'm guessing the, the gloves. Uh, did we go over here? Is there anything over here? There's a chest to break. Or a box. And a weapon rack. A hand axe. I mean, if there's no, like, specific weapon proficiencies, then we really just want to equip whatever's strongest, right? 
that we can use. It's like, are you one-handed? You are, and you do one to six. And again, as far as I can tell, there is no, like, attack speed thing or anything like that. So, yeah, sure. Use a hand axe. Why not, man? Hand axe and a dagger. It sounds good to me. Continue. Uh, we need to summon my dude. Get ready to shield. Holy shit, broski. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the ranged fighting. Like the whole... Oh, they catch on fire though and take damage over time. That's cool. If there was like a lock-on system or something, I think I would like the arrows much better. And I mean, to be fair, there could be, and I just don't know how it works. Can we, like, attack out of a block? No. I still don't know what this stuff does. Oh! Oh, that's actually... That's super fucking handy. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's what that is. Okay, so... Animate Undead can be on Triangle. Shield can be on Square, since I keep trying to press that anyways. Flame arrow can be on... What's our normal attack? X. So that can be on X. And then circle, I guess, would be life drain. Hell yeah. Open chest. A gold and a shoddy morning star. You are way better than what we have, but that's gotta be two-handed, right? Is not... Bro, we actually, like, swole as hell, aren't we? Over here just swinging axes and morning stars like they're nothing? That's a steel ball on the end of a stick, man. I don't know how much that weighs, but it's got to weigh something. Excuse me? Attack my Skelebro, please. Don't be attacking me, man. Oh my god. I'm glad the arrow doesn't cost much to use, because, like, my aim sucks. Is there, like, a stand-in-place button? No. No, there's not. Okay. That's fine. We don't need one. Ha! Ha! Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, we need shields. Okay, we can just melee you. You're just a goblin. I don't think we need to worry about range all that much with goblins. Not with health regen being the way it is in the game. LT mace? Is that... Is it a lieutenant mace? I don't think we're going to be shield users. Let's check out that mace, though. Does it stand for light? Maybe it stands for light mace. Do I like that more than I like the hand axe? Uh, it looks nicer, right? Oh. I didn't mean to... I dropped it. Sorry. <laughs> Let me pick that back up there. There we go. Some morning star and mace. Off hands. Do off hands have damage penalties in this game? Maybe. That would make sense, at least. So, in that case, okay, we do. We have it set up right now. I don't think we did before, but we want the Morning Star in our main hand. Staff and Lesser Healing Potion. Staff has gotta be two handed, right? Is long as fuck. Okay, it is. Wait. Is there, like, a quick way to switch between weapon sets? Fuck. It feels like triangle should be the back button, but it's not. It's not the back button at all. Okay, we're fine. Let's continue. Is there a save point anywhere nearby? I'm really scared of dying after we died, like, as soon as we started the game. 
Excuse me, Mr. Woofy bro. Attack the other bro. Steal your health. What are you going to do about it? Can we attack through the trees? No. No, we cannot. I will take potion. We have a lot of potions, though. If anything does happen, we got to remember to just hit the damn button. Don't be stingy with the thingies. You should be about dead. GGDU. Crossbow. I think we're good on the crossbows. I mean, we already have a magic arrow with basically unlimited arrow. Arrow? Unlimited ammo. Ammo? Ammo. For God's sakes, man. English. I can speak it. I promise. I've only grown up in an English-speaking country my entire life. Like... Huh. We're fine. We got this. We Gucci. I'm gonna go the other way, because the fact that there's a save point leading that way makes me think that's the right way to go. And God forbid we do that! There's a lot of dudes over here! Get fired? Oh god. Skeleton, help. There we go. Are you not dead? Why are you not dead? That was kind of rude of you. I love how they have like some sort of organ pop out of them whenever they die. <laughs> I don't know if it's like their heart. It looks kind of like a liver or something. It's like every time they die, an enemy dies, there's some sort of fleshy something that seems to just pop out of their bodies. It is kind of interesting. What does right do? We still know what right does. Maybe right switches between, like, weapon types. Let's try equipping a two-handed weapon and see. So we could equip, like, the shoddy crossbow, I guess. Aha! It does switch between weapon types. Can we have three? Because I noticed two-handed is blue. We can. Let's go. So now we got a two-handed weapon, two one-handed weapons, and a crossbow with infinite ammo. So I guess if we run out of health for some reason, or health, run out of magic for some reason, I guess we could use that. As an option. But, I mean, magic I'm sure isn't infinite, but we sure do have a lot of it. And it, the regen is very... I don't know where I'm being shot at from exactly, but we just keep firing arrows in this general direction. Surely we'll hit somebody. I think we actually hit a lot of people. It almost makes me wonder if there is some kind of like hidden auto-aim and it's just not very strong. A short sword, not a shoddy short a short. Words are hard. One to six. So no better than what we have, but... I don't know. To me, a sword sounds better than a mace. I like the look of the mace more, though, not gonna lie. But this suits our character more. Chest. Just gold, okay. Weapon rack. Another short sword. Are all weapons going to have the same stats? Like, if it's just called a short sword, is it always going to be 1 to 6, etc.? Battle axe, that's going to be two-handed. Is it better than our staff? We can't equip it, so it doesn't matter. I'm guessing it requires, like, a higher strength than what we have. Either that or you have to have, like, some sort of weapon proficiency even to equip it. A shoddy amulet. I don't think we have any amulets yet. What do these things do, though? It won't let us look at info on them. So, other than looking pretty, like... Yeah, I don't see anything. Hey, thank you for the five bits. 
but other than... Huh. Okay, whatever. You know what? I don't understand the R1 for info thing. It doesn't do anything. It just yells at us and says we can't upgrade. I don't like dudes with... with arrows. The arrows are rude. They hurt, you know. One more stream till 125? Hell yeah. I mean, you could just do it now. <laughs> like, unless you don't have the bits on your account or you plan on spending them somewhere else, you could just, you know. But whatever you want to do, it's completely up to you. You know, if you want to wait until next stream, wait until next stream. That's fine too. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to do. It's your life. Have fun. Ooh, look at the goblins. They bitches. One more stream until an extra 450? What's that mean? Why does it say that? Extra 450 what? Like channel points? Ah... Oh, did you mean watch streak? I thought you meant bits. That's why I was so confused on like why you were talking about next time. Oh. Oh, we got poisoned. I probably can't drain health from that far, huh? Am I shooting over this dude's head? That's not fair. Goblins are short. How am I supposed to deal with them being low to the ground? That was kind of rude of them, honestly. Did we save when we got in here? I don't know if we saved when we got in here. We're gonna turn around and save. That's our healing point? Oh, it's like all the way up there. Oof, I almost missed that. It's in increments of five. Yeah, I know. You, uh, you told me that. Whenever I first did the um, votes for stream st stuff, for stream streaks, you told me about it being increments of five, which, yeah, that's, that's fine. Bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum. I was just confused because, like I said, I thought you were talking about bits. Uh, shoot. These goblins sure do seem to be stronger than they were before. Ah! Don't attack me, attack him. He's like right there, man. Okay, well, they dead now. GG's to them. Oh, my shield's gone. This goblin was like flying, bro. Is that everybody? Is it empty? Are we safe? I think we're good. I think we're alone now. Why do I randomly hear like splashing water? What is that about? Waiting for my Skelebro to show back up. Another save point. Two save points this close does not bode well. It scares me a little bit, not gonna lie. Game has been saved, let's go. It won't move. Locked. Typical. To be locked. Typical. Wait, are they all locked? Oh my god, <laughs> bro, I thought the skeleton was an enemy. Ah, oh, he scared me. Drain your health then. <laughs> like, I'll murder you one way or another. If you want to block all my shit, that's fine. Get fucked anyways. Like, I 
really wish aiming was better or easier. Am I poisoned again? Why have I taken so much damage? Oh my god, can my skeleton not pathfind around some freaking boxes? Did they really not have the processing power to put some like A-star pathfinding in here or something? Little Miss Elvis? What the hell? Who's Elvis? I think that's everything. Everybody dead? Are we safe? I think we're good. I take chest. You found a key! It appears to be a gate key. Oh, Katie, okay. Can we jump, like, up on the table? What is the point of jumping? Has there been, like, any point? I guess, like... Oh, no, we can't even, like, jump over this table that's kicked over. <laughs> yeah, we can jump on top this torch for some reason, I guess. <laughs> and get our skeleton stuck up there. I guess that's handy. It's weird that, like, the campfire did damage whenever we stood too close to it. But that torch doesn't, like, give a shit at all. Uh, sure, save game again. Why not? That fight wasn't, like, big, big, but it wasn't small, small either, you know? It was a fight. Save error. Oh my god. Maybe there is a problem with this memory card, man. That's the second time that's happened. Where save games got corrupted like that. I should see if there's a firmware update for my memory card. My fancy memory card. We have to keep that in mind whenever we're trying to like finish a game as well. We might want to use the official memory card instead. If that's going to be a thing that keeps happening. But hopefully there's just a firmware update or something that fixes it. Because I use like my PS1 mem card pro a fair bit and never really had any problems with it. Now granted this one here has like more features. It has the whole... Um, like save automatic save backup and stuff which maybe that's what's causing the issue actually I don't really care that much about that feature to be honest so we could turn that off and see if it keeps doing it dagger I'm assuming all daggers are gonna have the same thing right yeah 96 out of 150 pounds are we gonna find a shop or anything soon where we can what up, Chocobo? Howdy, sir. Where we can uh, sell some junk, though. Drain? Am I draining health? Is it working? Yeah, okay, it's working. What is this? Is this poison water? Or were we hit by... Maybe we were hit by something. I can't tell. Is this bad water? Oh my god. Why can I hit you? You're standing right in front of me. Okay, yeah. There's somebody over here with poison arrows. The water is fine. You're just a dick. I don't know how close I need to be for this to work. Is this like... Oh, shit. Is the water poisonous and... There was a dude being an asshole? Dark cave. Okay, I think everybody's dead, right? Okay, yeah. So there's either like some type of trap in here or something, or... Okay, and we can't stand on those mushroom-looking things. I thought maybe it was some kind of puzzle or something that we could do something with, but no. 
Doesn't seem like it. But anyway, okay, so there's a dark cave if we go that way. What is the other direction over here? We go through this one. There's my Skelebro. Thank you for... Oh! I didn't know there was going to be a thing. I was just... Ah, I was just exploring. I thought, honestly, we were going to go to the next area. Is there going to be another save point up here? Or should I, like, turn around and save? Oh, I don't know. You know what? It's fine. We can, like, run away if we have to. I think we have health potions. A lot of health potions left. We got a skeleton. There's more health potions dropping. Um... There's some kind of magic. Our skeleton's dead. I do not have the energy required. Oh, hush. I don't care about your energy. It'll regen in like two seconds. Watch it. Is that everybody? Nope, there's still more people. There's a wizard. He's on fire. <laughs> Is that like a rejuvenation spell? Did he just heal himself? I drain your health. You're dead. What are these like dragon statue thingies? Nothing? Oh, there's a chest back here. Another shoddy morning star. The morning star is the thing that has like the most damage that we have, right? We really not do anything with these weird dragon statue thingies? Huh. Oh, a skimmy? Are skimmies any good? Ow. Okay. The pots hurt. Don't touch the pots. Understood. Will do. Many thank game for teaching me this lesson. What do the skimmies do? Are they good? Are they bad? Five to seven. That is the best that we have then. And then, yeah, morning stars are four to six. Why did our other weapons get... Oh, we have two shoddy crossbows. Okay. I thought one got unequipped somehow. Wrong button. Yeah, there really doesn't seem to be any sort of attack speed or anything like that. You just attack. Can't wear studded leather. Can't wear leather, period, apparently. Hop, hop. We don't know how. <laughs> we never learned how to put on leather clothing. Hop. You gotta, like, cornstarch yourself first, you know? Cover yourself in some, some talcum powder or something. It's the only way, man. Anything else and you're just fucked. Bum, 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 bum. At least in this game, whenever the save corrupted, it let us just, like, continue going, you know? It wasn't like, oh, sorry, your save game's corrupted. You can never save again. Like, what? That was such garbage in the... the what, what was the game? Death by Degrees, I think it was. But I'll, I'll, I'll concede to that game. It probably wasn't the game's fault that we that the save got corrupted i thought it was at the time but no it was probably the game or not the game it's probably the memory card that i use i wish we could give like our skeleton a sword or something <laughs> i love how he just like kept attacking for a second when he teleported over here um, <laughs> wish we could give him, like, a sword, a shield, something to help him be more effective. That'd be cool. You're a lot of freaking dudes. Hey, we leveled up again. Let's go. Why... Is my skeleton running away? <laughs> I thought maybe he had, like, fear cast on him or something. 
But no, I think he just couldn't pathfind to where he needed to go. Level up. Oh, we get a the ability point. Okay. Plus one melee and damage per two points over ten. Plus one range and armor class per two points over ten. So we should probably raise this one. Because that's an instant benefit to our magic. And then we do get three points this time. So is there anything new we can do? Is there anything that cost three that we couldn't do before? Hold. Stuns creatures in front of you. I mean, maybe. I'm sure it has its uses. Now, I think we want to... I think we want to make our dude better. Even better allies. And then... Increase regen. Haste isn't terrible. Magic regen, though. Yeah. And then magic regen. There we go. Um. So, did he automatically get better? Or do we need to, like, resummon him for him to get better? Longsword's gotta be two-handed, right? Cell key. Interesting. Is there a cell around here? We haven't found one yet. But I mean, if there's a cell key, I have to assume there's a cell around here somewhere too. Do I just open all the doors? Can I not talk to you people first? Oh, these are the prisoners that I was sent in here to save, aren't they? Okay. I thought they were, like, actual prisoners, like, bad people or something. Um, We're missing some, though. Let's resummon our Skelebro, just in case they don't automatically get better right away. Because, like, it didn't change the skill, right? Yeah, no. Okay. There are going to be more cells back here somewhere? Bats! Murder. Oh, they're not that strong. <laughs> Okay, this is rude, though. My skeleton can't find his way over here. He's kind of slow. You gotta give him a minute before you start attacking. That bat just disappeared. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a pathfinding problem, but he just, like, freaking bolted out of here. Where'd you go, Mr. Bat? Come back. I want you to die, please. There you go. GG. Can we break these? No. If I was like a little person, like a dwarf, could I jump? Or not jump, but like... like crawl under this one because there looks like there's a little gap here or maybe if we had like is there a teleport spell i don't know how that works because we can't move oh wait a second we can kind of push things i don't i don't feel like this is what you're meant to do though because pushing this barrel feels jank but like the game lets you push things so maybe that is what it plans on you doing now, can we get out of here? We can, okay. Nine gold, health pot. Another hand axe. Rejuvenation potion, that's nice. And seven gold and something I didn't get to see what it was. Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> if I was a game dev, I'd put a wagon there so nobody bothers to try. Hell yeah. The worst part is, like, they probably wouldn't, too. <laughs> like, like, the wagon's there, man. There's nothing you can do. You just gotta, you just gotta accept it. Longsword does 2 to 8. So that's better than the Morningstar. And it is one-handed. How is a longsword one-handed, man? Like, these are hunks of steel. I don't know. Whatever. I feel like your arms would get tired. Granted, I've never, like, wielded a proper sword or anything, so I don't know shit. I guess if you did it enough, you know, you would just, like, get used to carrying around long shafts of steel. <laughs> God, he throwing axe. Gross. I wonder if they're actually, like, ranged weapons. Do we throw the throwing axes? But if so, then they would be, like, one-time use. And at least for the bow and arrow, you don't really get ammo. Oh, more cells. Okay. Empty. Gods be praised. Give me your gold. Many thank. My gratitude. Oh, how dare you block? That's rude. Don't block my attempts to murder. It is my right as the player of this game to murder. <laughs> murder at will. My face. You get 500 gold coins. You gain 500 experience points. You rescued the innocents taken from the ambush caravan. But where is the caravan master? I'm guessing we'll find that out soon enough. Empty. Empty. Already did this one. Take that health pot. I don't like that you can shoot over people's heads. Kind of rude. I cannot hit you there. Magic you instead. Suck your health out of you. Perfect. Suck it right up. That's another one of these, like, weird poison pool thingies. Oh no! We're out of weight. Okay. So, is there a way to like sort stuff? There's not. Mm. Throwing axe weighs two pounds, mm. worth 39. Daggers weigh one pound, worth 13. So, daggers seem to be like the first thing we want to get rid of. This is also very heavy. So is the Morning Star. Those things are heavy, heavy. So we can drop those. There's another Morning Star. 12 for 40, not yeah, no, definitely not worth. I don't even need to sit here and do that math. And armor. We still haven't found any armor we can wear, right? No. Three and a half pounds, two pounds, three and a half pounds. I mean, this stuff's kind of heavy, too. Okay, the wooden shield's very heavy. Drop you. We have 11 pounds of potions. <laughs> 20? My god, the game really likes to give you potions, doesn't it? We'll wear the nicer amulet, I guess. I don't. I, these, as far as I can tell, these are just for selling. We literally can't get info. It says info, but it refuses to give us any. So, fuck me, I guess. I'm trying to pick up the gold, not all the stuff that I just dropped. Uh, whatever game. That's fine then. Is it the mushrooms? Oh, it's not the water. It's the mushrooms that are poisoning us. Oh. Okay. I see. We'll just free up some weight by sucking down a potion then. Problem solved. Okay. 
run away. Stay and fight. Be a man, Mr. Goblin. Biotooth Treasury? Biotooth, that's gotta be a boss, right? What the hell else would Biotooth be? I mean, we saved the game, so screw it. Each subsequent attack in a combination has a damage bonus, and some give special effects like increased crit damage or chance to stun. Increase your weapon focus feats to earn those additional attacks. <laughs> oh, they're goblin riders. I was like, <laughs> I did not expect... I did not expect a den of spiders in this, like, goblin den here. Found a key! Bro, that was... That was kind of stupid easy. My inventory is full. I wish we had a shop to sell some of this stuff in. Is this... Uh, drop the mace again. I didn't mean to pick that up to begin with. And the morning star. And the club. Yeah, the club's only worth four. It's not worth anything. What's the spear worth? Probably not much. It's just a stick with a pointy end on it, right? Yeah, eight pounds for 33. Nah, we, we good. Drop you two. Was there any other enemies or anything in here, or was that literally it? Because that was that was stupid easy, man. We're on normal difficulty. We're not on, like, easy mode or anything. I imagine the game probably gets harder at some point. So we probably don't want to, like, up the difficulty when or if we ever play more of the game. But, like, bruh. rack battle axe is heavy we don't want we can save again i guess we might as well bum, 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 bum. spider breeding pit what if i don't want to go into the spider breeding pit <laughs> that sounds terrible that does not sound like a fun time at all, to be honest with you. I really didn't want the shield, to be honest, game. Gold, oh, speak for yourself? I mean, whatever, man. I'm not here to tell you what you can and can't do. I'm just saying, I don't think I want to go in the spider breeding pit. That sounds terrible to me. Unless it's like, mommy spider, you know. And maybe. Who are you? Oh, you're the caravan master. Hello. Just murders them instantly. Set free. Joaquin be praised. I am Randala Brasshorn, owner of the ambushed caravan. You have all my gratitude, adventurer. Accept reward. A thousand experience points. Let's go. Well met, Randala. I'll see you well rewarded upon my return to Baldur's Gate. I am a merchant of no small wealth, among other things. Are you traveling south? Hire on as my bodyguard until we reach the city's walls. I do pay well. Um... I'm not done here, but I'll return shortly. Farewell. I guess, because I still want to go into the spider breeding pit. <laughs> Words I never thought I'd say. And then there was like that dark cave or cavern or whatever too, which... I feel like it's something else that we should explore. But anyway, I'm I'm getting chilly. I'm gonna I should probably save money and just turn down my AC. I was about to put on my, my hoodie, but like why? I said turn down my 
I almost said turn down my hoodie. I said turn down my AC, so I literally turned down my AC. I have the AC to take whatever player has left me here to rot. I don't know. It's somewhere. I can't wait to have like the room done so everything's in a place that makes sense. I mean, for the most part, it is now. It's just, like, all over the place. I just need to straighten up, figure out where I'm going to put some stuff and whatnot. But, like, yeah. And then tomorrow, if I remember, because I am on vacation starting now. Um, starting today. But I still plan on doing my normal streaming schedule. Maybe doing some extra streaming. Maybe a 24-hour stream Tuesday slash Wednesday, whatever. Um, but, like, yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll get the mic set up. And then, um, hopefully before the 24 hour stream, I'll have a camera stand over here, a second light over here somewhere so we can set up another camera for couch streams. Ugh, cause that's what I want to be doing right now. I want to be chilling on that couch behind me, playing this game on that TV back there that's playing my VODs, um... <laughs> That's, like, actual goal right now, but if payment is a key to the arachni room, I mean spider breeding bed. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't... I'm uncomfortable. Help. Maybe we should have saved again. How many spiders are going to be in here? Just a couple, huh? Uh, summon armor and start shooting and just start blasting honestly I think we're fine we have so many health potions and shit like as long as they keep swarming him too like He's tanking these hits like it's nothing, bro. They do like the swarm, though, though, don't they? Is he is he alive or did he end up dying? I feel like our bro's dead. Yeah, our bro's dead. That's fine. We just use one of those, hit one of these. Hit this. Okay, that was close. Am I gonna change the light bulb in here? I want to get like a brighter one, maybe a white one, because like I like yellow. I think yellow looks better for streaming, generally speaking, like a warm light, not yellow, of course. But there is one problem, um, and it's like I don't really mind per se, but. If I go back here, <laughs> look how much more red I get. That's the color difference between, like, my proper ring light and room light, you know? Like, I I go red, red, man. <laughs> like, it's insane. We should have more smart ones, do we? I'm not that worried about having a smart light. I don't really care one way or the other about that part. Um... I guess being able to, like, set the color of it to whatever looks best would be nice, but, like, I don't really care about the smart functionality per se, though. Oh, I didn't realize we didn't have shields up. There you go. Rune stone. What is the rune stone? Just an expensive thing. Cool. Wait, can we equip it? <laughs> no, okay. As far as I can tell, all these amulets and rings do nothing. Uh, surely there will be one at like some point that does something though, right? I wish there was a way to see stuff on the ground, like have it get highlighted or whatever. That'd be super handy. So I'm sure there's probably stuff that we're either missing or have missed because I just don't see it.
Don't want the wooden shield. Was that the spider snack of the dude that's just like chilling there dead? Is that what they were munching on? Or this one? They munch. Alright. Well, I guess our reward was just getting the the thingy. The the runestone, the expensive thingy. And experience. Like board ordered. The dwarf rogue can do stuff. I didn't see what it said. Ah, thirsty. Should have a box with bulbs in it in general. Yeah, somewhere. I don't remember where, but somewhere. I don't think we have any more smart bulbs, though. I'm pretty sure I put all of those in. Um, sure. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. Wonderful. I will meet you down the trade way in Wayfork. We'll travel south to Baldur's Gate from there. Farewell, adventurer. Talk to everyone in Baldur's Gate. You never know who will need a job done or who might have helpful information. Is there just somebody I can sell this shit to? Not that it really matters. We're getting ready to get off now and uh, play a little bit of cozy game, start winding down or whatever. But, like, it'd be really nice if I could get rid of some stuff. I just want to... I want to see numbers go up. I want I want big gold. Why are you dead? The marauders are slaughtering everyone. Oh, we didn't talk to her, so she got mad. Started yelling at us. I'm guessing we're not going to find anybody here to trade with now. Or is this not the town? Maybe we're still on trade way or whatever. Maybe. Bro, <laughs> one of my shots will hit. I just want to sell stuff. I just want to be a peaceful merchant with my skeleton friend. But no, the game refuses to let me do that. Can I, like, steal this box of green? A box of green? Bag of green? Wait, do the villagers actually die? It looked like they were taking damage. Oh god, maybe we actually need to hurry. Good thing there's not, like, friendly fire. Oh, are you dead? Did we, like, fail to save you guys? Sorry, I was just like fucking around. I didn't know people's lives were at stake. Where is everybody else? There should be more villagers. Throwing knife, that's new. All right, didn't it say like four more or something? Are they on the other side of this cart? The impassable cart. Oh, there's a dude here. Hello, dude. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realize you were there. My bad. All kinds of dead bros up here. More dead bros. All the bros are dead. Here we go. Here's people. Two more villagers saved. I'm hoping, like, once we save these villagers, we can sell our shit. That's all I really want to do. I just want to sell our stuff before we quit for the night. That's, like, that's my life goal. Did I miss one back there somewhere? No, okay, she's right there. You saved all the fleeing villagers, but what about those still trying to hold the Wayfork village in? 250 gold, 750 experience. We got a level. Let's go. Where's the inn at? Are we going the right way, or should we turn around? Oh, there's another shaman. 
Did he just like use a fireball? Bro. I want to use a fireball. That's rude. Is he dead? I hear something. Ah, oh, there's one, one little dude left over here. Is this the end? Can we can we do things now? Um, screw it. Let's get the best Skelebro we can. And then let's learn how to enchant items. Perfect. Enter the village in. When using the rogue, try to place his smoke powder satchels in narrow areas where monsters will be forced to squeeze in together. You want to catch as many as in the... Oh, fuck. Maybe we should have saved. You're big for a goblin. Oh, God. Our energy didn't regen when we came in here. Is he a different color now? Okay, little dudes need to die. Oh, okay, you know what, Skelebro, can you like focus on murdering big dude while I murder little dudes? Get some, get some stuff back. Heat gameplay, we got this. Can I like suck some health out of you? My health is a little low. Can't block both sides at once. God, the health potions, or not the health potions, the whatchamacallit potions, rejuvenation potions, really don't refill much, do they? Ring around the rosy, you can't catch me. I hit the wrong button. I mean, I guess, like, our magic refills pretty quickly, though. So we probably just don't need to worry about using the potions that often. Just, like, fuck off for a minute and get it refilled. Talk to... Pick up ring. Innkeeper? Is that the person with the marker? Like a righteous comet from the sky, you are. Had you not come now, I dread to think what could have happened. Leran is my name. The innkeeper. I thank you with all my heart. Glad I could help. Here, please take these few small things as a matter of reward. It's the least we can do, seeing as you saved the village and all. Uh, my thanks. Farewell. We got stuff. Let's go. I am trying to check something real quick. Uh, can I sell stuff to you, innkeeper? hear any rumors i don't care about your rumors is it the caravan lady can i sell well, with you again. rescuing damsels and saving villages uh, yes so shall we go baldur's gate awaits us i'll return shortly are you gonna teleport me there if you're gonna teleport me there then i'm down for it well met again adventurer no is the town, like, different now, or is it still destroyed? Am I even allowed to leave? I'm not allowed to leave. Alright, well, sure. Hello, Randella, Randala, whatever your name is. Sure, let's go. I don't have any questions. I don't really care. that like chapter one did we finish chapter one don't underestimate the value of a ranged weapon they might not inflict a lot of damage but always optimal to keep your enemy at a distance My lord, the interrogation of the prisoners is complete he looks know evil little. Nonetheless, you look I even more evil <laughs> they said eldrith used the onyx tower to make shadow gates which allowed her to move troops around Western heartlands. They claim that when they but isn't she the bad guy? Yes. 
can't mm. curb employers this mm. interim. Mm. Seek to restore the tower and the power it holds for themselves. They use those three fools to wrest it from Eldred's hands. I don't trust. The tower would better serve me and my allies in the east. I must have it. Yes, my lord, but Khan, the prisoners claim they killed him in Xantum's guild. You know what? Can we just sell some stuff? <laughs> you saw her in the Elf Necromancer is most effective when using his animate dead spell. His undead ally can hold off attackers while he casts spells from a distance. Yeah, we kind of figured that out. Accept reward. Uh, I need to find some work. Problems killing trolls? Make sure your character has a weapon or spell that does fire or acid damage, as trolls can only be permanently killed with fire or acid. Trust me, I know. They're annoying as shit, dude. <laughs> When me and my brother played at, like, Baldur's Gate, the first one, the normal one. Oof. Okay. Shop. Surely, one of you have to be a shop. Are you a shop? That's a church. I don't care about the church. I just want the shop. Are you a shop? You're a tavern. I mean, maybe we can sell stuff at a tavern? I like these torch thingies. This takes us, what, into the sewers? Oh, we're not allowed to turn the camera here. That's fine, whatever. That's somebody's house. Let's check the tavern. Maybe maybe we trade in the tavern. Can we, like, summon undead here in town? No. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fair. I didn't, I didn't think the people of Baldur's Gate would appreciate us just, like, summoning skeletons in the middle of their town, but... Had to try, you know? You never know. Don't care. Can I sell stuff? Durbim? Durbem? Um, where's the innkeep? Is it you? Do I need to like... Ugh. Ugh. Can I not get over there? Wait, what was this? Oh, just asking for one to talk to Kiara. Nope. Aha! I cannot talk to the innkeep. Damn it. What about Durban? Do you sell and buy? With you. Didn't your mother... ha, that's dip no. Just rumors. I give up. Who needs to sell stuff anyways? What's the point? Money's useless. <laughs> Let's switch over to, uh, whatchamacallit. Wind down for the night. I did have fun with the game, though. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. It's a little more reasonable, it seems like, than Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, the first one. Um, from what I remember, I might be thinking of Bard's Tale, though. Uh, I don't know. I just remember one of them was, like, ridiculous. The innuendo and stuff was just kind of... It was too much. Even for me. Um, like, it was... It was good ish but like it was a bit too much and then i remember the bard's tale the bard's tale it had some other issues with just gameplay and stuff so like yeah but this one's fun i'm gonna do we have the first one on the list of games to complete we don't do we want to oh wait no i do i just have it called dark alliance so screw it yeah if we have the first one on here then we'll put the second one on too Dark Alliance 2 on the PlayStation 2. It is a game that I would like to beat at some point. So we'll put it on there. Screw it. Let me go find the thingy. Change the thingies and stuff. Well, find the thingy? I guess I don't need to find anything. But let me go, like, let me go swap the games real quick. That's all. BRB. Excuse me? A uh, game? Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. I will learn nothing just standing here. There's no blood here, nothing to see. Y'all are just gonna take a short nap behind the receptionist's desk. 
My HDMI cable is not nearly long enough, I just realized. I need a longer cable. I have a you longer one here somewhere. Sixty-five percent. That might be about as good as we can get. And I think Noodle might have fallen asleep. Because we were talking about pizza and she didn't instantly reply. Well, if nobody's actually going to come looking for us, then you know what? I want to get a good look down this hallway. Well, I didn't, but you know what? Take whatever they didn't see me left so me here to rot. Is it possible to hide you under the table? That door opening, though. What is in here? Goodbye. <laughs> There's a person in there. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. What is down this hallway? I almost fell. I'm good. Don't look at me. Nothing that we can see. Is it better to be dressed as a scientist right now? I legitimately don't know what the answer is here. Ugh. I mean, right now it's neg four. Okay, we back. Um. Evasion mode. Activate. And. Turn you on, Noodle. Thank you for the five bits. Appreciate you. Um, I have no video. <laughs> oh god, someone just woke up. I might need to... Why did you not go down? I could have swore we hit him in the head. Unplug and plug back in capture card. Hit the fucking S. alarm. I did just think of a possible problem. Need like a side room or something. Oh god damn it. Hmm, okay. PS5 is not showing up on the capture card. I Nobody might know the problem oh, though. No. Goodbye. Nope, get off the wall, snake. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Okay. <laughs> Where's an acceptable place to be a box? This is an acceptable place to be a box. I need to label stuff. Is that it? Damn you. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm not just getting a black screen now. I'm not getting anything now, though. Just kill him. Something, please. Nothing. Okay. Oh, maybe. The book. Uh, I don't think this is an acceptable place to be a box, but <laughs> I'm out of options here, dude. <laughs> Uh, while we're waiting for the evasion meter to go down, I wonder what kind of book we just picked up. Sagohai, Sagohi, I don't know how to pronounce that, but hey, thank you so much, man. Appreciate um, it. appreciate the raid. Problem. I'm not getting personnel sensor. Da -da -da -da. Anything. There is no Maybe I need to like turn off the PS5 it. and turn it back on. It wouldn't be under weapon, would it? I mean, it wouldn't make much sense, but. It's also where they have all of the food, so who knows? It is, of course. Okay. Picture book for 
quote-unquote gentlemen full of stunning photos of young female models. Oh, Kojima. <laughs> I did not mean to zoom in on that. How do we go back? Oh, 